Welcome to Systems Talk channel where we discuss everything related to systems thinking. Now that we have seen what mental models are and how we can visualize systems using causal loop diagrams, let us see how all this come together using the iceberg model, which is one of the tools to look at problems from a systems perspective. Let us understand the iceberg model with the story of Anu that we covered in episode 2. Anu observed that people in a locality were complaining about their back pain, fatigue, headaches and other chronic illnesses. She clearly saw a pattern of chronic health diseases among the people in her community. Anu understood the underlying structures that gave rise to those problems. Culture of overconsumption, less open spaces to exercise, no community feeling, compromising on the diet because of less availability of fresh vegetables. She also knew the kind of mental models that give rise to such structures. She often used to listen to people saying, Do we really need open spaces? I'm happy in my house. What Anu did was she applied the iceberg model to her problem. At the event level, she recognized individual events of chronic complaints such as a neighbor complaining about back pain. At the patterns level, she could see that all those events are related because many people were facing them. At the structures level, she identified the systemic structures that gave rise to those patterns. At the mental models level, she identified the mental models that influence the people to implement the hazardous structures. The iceberg model, as we saw, lets us investigate the root cause of a problem. The iceberg is a metaphor to understand that we can only see the tip, in this case, individual problems or events, which is just the 10% of the total mass of the iceberg. The rest 90% of the mass is underwater, which tells us why those individual events are happening. The way to apply the iceberg model is this. Look at the individual events happening. See if there is a pattern to them. Understand what kind of systemic structures that are giving rise to those patterns. Make a note of all the mental models that give rise to those structures. So, at the event level, you ask the question, what happened? Once you know what happened, at the patterns level, you ask, are there similar events happening lately? To understand what kind of structures are giving rise to those patterns, at the systemic structures level, you ask, what kind of system variables and their interconnections that are generating those patterns? Then to see how such systems exist at the mental models level, you ask, what are the beliefs, values and assumptions that are creating the structures? In the story of the farmer and his friend that we covered in episode 1, we saw how Rohan helped Amar by making him realize the root cause of the problem. At the event level, Amar was able to observe the poor yield that he got that year. At the patterns level, he saw that he keeps getting poor yield no matter what solution he tries. At the structure level, he saw that the poor yield is coming because of the overuse of fertilizers. At the mental model level, he could understand the mental models that gave rise to the structures, that it is okay to use fertilizers. In episode 4, we came across Ankur's health crisis. If we draw the iceberg model of Ankur's health problem, we can see that at the event level, he was suffering from abdominal pain. If Ankur would have possibly noted the patterns, he would have noticed that his health was deteriorating, his weight was increasing, he also suffered from fatigue. At the structures level, he was consuming alcohol to reduce his stress. The mental model that he had was, alcohol is the only way to reduce the stress. As we can see, how his mental model had a ripple effect towards the top of the iceberg and led to his health crisis. All it took to change the mental model was for the doctor to point out that he could use exercise as a way of reducing his stress. This in turn changed the structure which improved his health and all his reports kept normal. The way we can apply the iceberg model to solve a problem is by looking deeper into all the levels that are giving rise to the problem. Notice whether there are similar problems or events you have faced recently, then identify the structure that is giving rise to those problems. Once you have identified the structure, make a note of 
all the mental models that give rise to the structure. Thus, the iceberg model gives us an understanding how important it is to look at mental models and structures that give rise to behavior we see all around at the event level. Iceberg model helps us to develop better systems. Hope this episode motivates you to shift your attention from events to the structures and the mental models that give rise to those events. Systems thinking helps us to create better systems rather than making us react to behavior. Only by changing systems, we can get the desired behavior. Thank you.